Hey guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com, and in this video, I'm going over my DraftKings NFL Week 17 picks. Before I move on to those, I just want to mention that the Fantasy Labs 50% off discount ends Thursday at midnight, so if you haven't already taken advantage of that, check out the details in the description below. All right, let's get on to the picks. Before we move on to Week 17, let's take a look back at Week 16. I just want to make a quick note, my throat is killing me, so if my voice gives out at any time, sorry about that in advance. But anyways, these picks here are all the picks listed in last week's video. On the left here, we have my solid picks. You can see it was a great week. We had my top quarterback wide receiver stack with Bortles putting up 34 points, Robinson putting up 30 points, David Johnson put up 21 points, D'Angelo Williams with 36 points, uh, cheap tight end pick Vance McDonald put up 17 points. Unfortunately, I did take him out of some lineups because I was a little worried about uh, the rookie tight end from uh, 49ers, Bell. Uh, but I did have Vance McDonald in a couple lineups. He put up 17 points. Texans, 22 points. Ruben Randall was a cheap uh, wide receiver, put up 16 points. Jermaine Curse, another cheap pick at 3,200, and he put up 12.8 points, giving us some value there. And then on the right, we had a few busts. We had Cam Newton with 15 points. Ted Ginn Jr. got injured. He put up 1.9 points. And then Gary Barnage with 7.7 .7 points. And in the bottom right there, you can see that I also emailed out Peterson, Hopkins, Baldwin, and Reed, who all had big games. If you're not signed up, I do send out emails every Saturday morning uh, just with a couple more picks for the week. Uh, you can sign up absolutely free. Just click on the lineup tool link in the YouTube description below. As usual, I had a bunch of great emails from people who won some money. So congrats to Julio, who won $345 off a $3 entry. Uh, Kirk won $50 on just $5. Congrats, Kirk. Komet made $1,157. Congrats to you. And I had a bunch of other emails and a bunch of people posting on my YouTube channel uh, that I couldn't get back to. I didn't email you guys back, but congrats to all of you guys. And if you didn't win in week 16, I hope that you win big here in week 17. This week there wasn't a Millionaire Maker tournament, but there was a big chop block tournament. So we're going to take a look at the winning lineup from that. As you can see here, the guy put up 239 points. And he started off with a stack of Blake Bortles, who was my top quarterback pick last week, and Alan Hearns. So I had Robinson as my top uh, wide receiver for that stack, and Hearns actually outperformed him by a couple points uh, with 33.6 points, so that was a great pick. And you can see his picks are actually really similar to the picks in my video last week. He had both the running backs I listed, David Johnson and D'Angelo Williams, and then he also had Ruben Randall, who was a cheap uh, wide receiver, put up 16 points and Texans defense, who was one of the top scoring defenses of the week with 22 points. And then to go with that, he hit Brandon Marshall, 34.5 points. Kyle Rudolph was a cheap tight end that put up a pretty good output there with 13.3 points. And then Hopkins, who was surprisingly only 6.8% owned, put up 27 points. So congrats to that guy, pretty solid lineup. It wasn't a very high scoring week at DraftKings, but as you can see there, he had a pretty solid lineup. All right, so let's move on to my NFL week 17 picks. My top quarterback wide receiver stack is Matt Ryan at 5,500 with Julio Jones at 8,500. They're going to be facing the Saints who have the 32nd ranked pass defense and the worst defense overall in the NFL. Matt Ryan hasn't put up big numbers this year, but he's still a good quarterback and he can take advantage of a defense like the Saints. And then we've got some uh, narrative street here with Julio Jones. Julio needs 17 catches and or 243 yards to break two records. So he can break the wide receiver catch record for a season or the yardage record. Matt Ryan already throws to him a ton, but he could get him even more uh, targets than normal this week, trying to help him break that record. And Julio Jones, don't really need to talk about him too much, but he has nine games with 20 plus DraftKings points. He could easily surpass 20, 30, maybe even get up to 40 DraftKings points against the Saints this week. And at running back, I like Darren McFadden at 4,900. He's facing the Redskins who don't have anything to play for in week 17 as they've already locked in the number four seed. So they could be resting some defensive players throughout the game. Uh, McFadden has double digit DraftKings points in six straight games as he gets the majority of the Cowboys workload. He doesn't have the crazy high upside, but he can score 20 plus DraftKings points. And at the $4,900 price, that allows you to pay up for another running back with a higher upside. So I think McFadden's a great pick this week at 4,900. My favorite cheap wide receiver of the week is Willie Sneed at 4,400. He could be in a shootout with the Falcons in a game that Vegas has projected at 53 points. And since coming back from injury, he's put up 10 or more DraftKings points in all three games. And he does have three games with 20 or more DraftKings points. And in two of those, he didn't score a touchdown. So what that means is he's not touchdown dependent. He gets receptions, he gets a lot of targets, and he can put up yards. So Willie Sneed at 4,400 is a great pick this week. My top tight end pick is Zach Ertz at 3,600. He might be the highest owned tight end, but he has to be mentioned because of his value. He's put up 14, 21, and 27 DraftKings points over his last three games. 
and over his last two games he's been targeted 17 and 13 times. He could see a high number of targets this week in what is expected to be a shootout against the Giants, and New York is 31st in fantasy points against tight ends. So Ertz is going to be highly owned, but I just can't leave him out of this video. And then I've got five more Week 17 picks for you. Eli Manning, 5,600. He's playing at home versus Philly, who ranks 31st in fantasy points allowed to quarterbacks. He had a bad week last week versus the Vikings, but he does struggle without Odell. Odell was suspended, now he's back. And Eli had 25, 31, 15, 20, and 25 DraftKings points the previous five weeks. And that also included some tough matchups versus the Panthers, Jets, and Patriots. So Eli's been playing really good lately. He's got Odell back. He's had three games with 30 or more DraftKings points this year. He's got a good matchup. I could see him having a great game this week. Odell Beckham is going to be stacked with Eli Manning, of course. $9,000, you're going to have to pay up for him. But Eli's cheap, so the stack isn't too expensive. Philly ranks 31st versus wide receivers. Odell has shredded defenses lately with 19 or more DraftKings points in seven straight games and 29 or more points in four of those games. And even in a tough match versus Carolina last week, or sorry, two weeks ago, he put up 19 DraftKings points. And the Eagles don't have any shutdown corners. Odell should be set up for a huge game. Another running back pick. I'm going back with him. I think it's the fifth week now. David Johnson, $6,000. I continue to pick him for the video and he continues to put up good scores for us. Last week, he put up 21.7 DraftKings points before the Cardinals went to their backups in a blowout. He's averaged well over 20 DraftKings points the last four weeks. He's got a tough matchup versus Seattle, which might lower his ownership, but I still think he could have a big game. He's got a huge workload and he's on one of the best NFL offenses in the league. Another tight end pick I like for this week is Zach Miller at 4,600. He's going to get an upgrade if Alshon Jeffrey is out, but even if Alshon is in, I still like Miller at 4,600. He's put up 13, 11, and 19 DraftKings points over his last three weeks, and he also has a 30 DraftKings point game earlier this year. Detroit is 29th in fantasy points allowed to tight ends, so Zach Miller could have another big game this week against Detroit. And then we've got the Colts at 2,400. The Colts are at home versus the Titans, who rank last in fantasy points allowed to defenses this year. We picked on the Titans last week, choosing the Texans, who put up 22 points. And we'll do it again this week with the Colts. The Colts have put up 8, 9, 0, 11, 15, and 14 DraftKings points over their last six weeks. The 0 was against the Steelers, who have one of the league's best offenses. Now they go against the struggling Titans team. They're playing at home. They do have something to play for. They do have a chance at a playoff berth, although it's under 1%. They will be trying to win this game. So at 2,400, I like the Colts as my top defense this week. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up button on YouTube so I know to keep making them. If we can get 1,500 thumbs ups on this video, I'll make a video for the wildcard round next week. And if you don't have access to my free lineup generator tool, make sure you click on the link in the YouTube description below to get that absolutely free. As always, guys, good luck in your contest. Hope you make some money this week. Cheers.